How long has it been? One hour? Three hours? Seven? Forever? I've just been laying in bed with the shades drawn. It's dark and cool. I have all this time to just think. It's funny how loud your thoughts become when you just stop and listen. It's like a radio playing on the table, broadcasting my subconscious, a steady stream. Perhaps that is why this is part of the ritual, cutting off external stimulation to just stop and reflect. When was the last time I even stopped and just allowed my thoughts to wander? I feel like these thoughts are filling up the room, painting the walls, a bright staticky coat of paint, slowly expanding, inches, feet, miles, so loud, tender harsh, undulating through my skin. I watch from my little corner of the world, madness, devastation, decaying presidency. In a way, it makes me happy to be so secluded in my sleepy town, sending my signals out into the deep reaches of the internet. Is anyone even listening out there? I'm sorry. I haven't read a scary story in a long time. I'll do my best to get one out there. Soon. Once I figure out all of this. It's snowing. I can hear it blowing outside my window. It blankets my breathing and the static on the walls, forcing the madness into an envelope that I can tuck into my pocket. Why did I decide to do this? It seems so easy to say yes to Claire. Why do I always say yes? I trust her too much. Will the snow be a problem later? Bearing the sound of my footsteps as I trudge out to the old church? It's funny. I've never felt so alone than when I walk when it's snowing. The crunching of boots breaks through the quiet, then is silent again. If you stop, so do you. Sometimes I just don't know. I feel like I've been here before. This moment. This exact minute. I've thought this thought before. These thoughts. I can feel it. I've seen myself laying here. The midnight bell. There it is. Time to head out. Once upon a time, there was a small town at the base of a massive forest. People called it the Deep Woods. People told funny stories. Stories meant to scare the kids. Sure as hell scared me. One day, a girl with bright red hair asked her friend to meet him deep inside of the woods late on a special night. She promised him something impossible. Her friend complied with no questions asked, and off he went. What is to be expected?
I'm going to try to document this using my video camera, the only portable equipment I have. I don't know who or what to expect out at this time of night and occasion. Generally, I don't like to go out after dark. Nobody in Red Falls does. I am pretty terrified. Claire, what are you getting me into?